Falcon Stadium, built in 1962, the site for this college football contest. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Colorado. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Four yards away here on second down. Tries to get around the corner. He's at midfield. And they make the stop at about the 35. Oh, and what a run that was. And here on the pitch out to the tailback, they were able to capitalize with the defense on their heels. and 10. Let's see if they can build off that great run. Let's go. Now he pitches it. And he has it on the corner. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 27-yard line. That makes it second and two. Pitches it. He's got the corner. Inside the 10. He's knocked out of bounds at the 7. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball. And it got him a first down. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. the extra point. A five-play, 73-yard drive. And the result, seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big runs. The score now, 7-0. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He'll return it from the one. And he's taken down at the 27. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Right around the 30. Second and set. Ball on the 30. He's tackled right around the 46 yard line. First down. tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 7-0, Falcons. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Gives it off. He's at the 30, and he's taken down around the 23-yard line. 
makes it first and ten. ten. From the 23-yard line, it's first down. Throws complete, he's got space to work. He's out of bounds around the 15-yard line. That makes it second and two. He tackles him for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He goes out of bounds at about the 13. The offense gets a first down here, and you got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback, especially when they're passing the football, and try to get your own offense the ball back. Touchdown, Buffaloes. Fires quick. He catches another. will be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. So the big game resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Set. Green, now he tries to buy some time. He's hit and got away. Three, maybe four yards on a scramble. The Falcons taking their first time out of the half. Scramble. There's a fumble. It's picked up by the offense. He steps out at the 28-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. All day, just like that. Just like Let's that. Let's go. Green Here's the handoff, and he's brought down right away. Loss of two yards. That makes it fourth and four. the ground it's a matter of luck and will and on that play it was the defensive end who crowded for his side Kirk we got a player down obviously in some pain they've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now one more play now before we hit halftime so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here So at the end of the half, we're even at seven in this one.
We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense pride themselves prides themselves on tackling you know you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays and try to limit those big plays and when they do get down towards the red zone make people kick field goals and that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out and, and that's what we're seeing today we've done what we can do here at halftime time to get you back out to the second half we'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Fielded at the four. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You've got to make every possession count. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Brought down at the 38. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it third and one. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. And the tailback picks up the first down. He's a reliable ball carrier, as he showed right there. He got the two yards they needed for a new set of downs. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 40. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. That makes it second and six. Zips it to the tight end. He's taken down at the 48. Number three with the tackle at the 48-yard line. And here's another third down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas than offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down this drive on third down. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. So at the end of three, we get a tie game at 7-7. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Just under two to go in the game. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Tenth play of the drive. Oh, and he can't hang on. Huge drop there. From the 34-yard line, second down. And he's 
tackled right away. Number three makes the tackle. And this is the 12th play of the drive. That makes it first and 10. The 10. Nice move, and he scores. He's down. They took too much time. Delay of game. Offense. Under a minute left in the game. And he hits the PAT. So a 12-play, 70-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line. And he just got stood up right there. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. The key here is to keep stopping the clock. The offense will be keeping the ball near the sidelines, and if they throw it to the middle of the field, then the receiver better get to the first down. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop around the 29-yard line. Air Force is going to take their first time out of the hat. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's scrambling. He lost the ball, and it's picked up by one of the linemen. They'll drop him for a loss. Air Force will have one timeout remaining. Scrambling around. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And down he goes, right around the 34. He's scrambling. He's tackled the 39-yard line. That makes it second and six. Spikes the ball. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. So they'll have one last shot here to possibly tie this game up. They'll need their prayers to be answered if they don't want to lose this one. Going deep. And so that's going to do it. The Buffaloes with the victory. 14-7. 14, 14, 14, and the Air Force Falcons. Falcon. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.